Bearded appliance repair here with a quick diagnosis video on this dishwasher. We have a dead display and we're going to find out why. A um, couple things to check. Make sure you got power to it. And then we also are going to check power up to this control panel to see if we need the control panel or the control board for the repair. Um, first thing we always got to do is make sure we got power to the dishwasher. The customer already had that kick plate off. So if that's not off, just two quarter inch screws. That thing slides right out of there. Then you get yourself a multimeter. Um, you want to test the black and the white wires to make sure we got 120. If we got 120 there, um, we know that's good. So then we go further. If you don't have power here, um, you're looking at a breaker or something along those lines. After we do this check, we got to get to the control board to see if we have 14 volts up to the control panel. Um, you do need power on for this check. Um, but we do got to get to the control panel as well, so it's a smart idea to turn the circuit breaker off um, whenever you're bringing this control panel down, and then turn the power back on so you can do the test that we got to test. So we need to have power on so we can test that 14 volts DC. So yeah, just turn power off whenever you do this. I have it on. Um, I've done this a hundred times, so I know what to touch and what not to touch. Um, you want to keep yourself safe, and you don't want to cause any more damage to the machine. So if you haven't done this before, please turn power off when you're doing this step. Then, once we get it open, we got these five little pins here, which that wire harness that I disconnected, it goes up to the user interface. And on the top of it, on this board here, there's five little pins. And when you're looking at it from this direction, it'll be pin 2 to pin 5. So I'm going to do pin 5 first, right here on the right. And then pin 2 will be this one right here. And you want to have 14 volts here. If you, I mean, it can be 12 volts, it can be 13, it can be 14. Um, as long as it's somewhere around there. Um, if you don't have 14 volts, you're looking at your main board for repair. If you do have 14 volts, you're looking at your user interface for repair. It also can be the harness that goes up to the user interface, but out of all the years I've been doing this, I've never seen a bad harness, so likely it will be your UI if you get 14 volts here. And that's exactly what we got. I will have a repair video on replacing that user interface in the link description below if you guys want to check that out as well. This is just a quick diagnosis video and it indeed is the UI that we need to replace. So that's that's how you figure it out. That's how you know. But that's it for this one. Um, thanks you guys for watching and like and subscribe if it's helped. Thanks.